So we are going somewhere special. <laughs> Where are we going? We're visiting Mustafa's village. Yes. Uh, for the very first time with you all, we are visiting Mustafa's village. It will be so exciting. Let's go on this journey and find out what's in Mustafa's village that we were not aware of. Let's go. We are leaving on two bikes. My brother is taking me and there's one other bike. So we are going towards... Towards the vehicle which is going to take us to Mustafa's village. Right now we are in the bus or the vehicle where we are going towards uh, Mustafa's village. We are going off route because uh, we have to pick up a passenger. Uh, so we are basically going to their home and picking them from there. There are uh, lack of facilities like transportation and all that. So uh, because of that, they are unable to travel easily. Buses, you know, used to come to our homes to pick us yes. up if you wanted to go there. If you, just to travel, you know, instead of you just going to the place. Finally, we are no, back we are on the track. Uh, back in the we are going towards the main road. The main road. So our vehicle had some issues that it got heat up easily so we had to wait and the driver used to put water in it. I'm so excited but it is a long way I would say. So uh, we are going after a long time because we have been busy with our work. Well, finally we are at a small cafe. This cafe has the best tea. So this cafe is called... Sudden Cafe. Sudden Cafe. Sudden yes. Cafe. So uh, suddenly it just appears. So out of nowhere just it just appears. And yes. And you get to stop, relax for a while. And then you prepare for the hardest road. The structure of this cafe is so simple and interesting. As you can see, it's made of made out of mud. <laughs> so I'm recording from different angle. Uh, so they have separate room for males and females. Now we had just had our tea and I'm going towards the vehicle.
So next part of the route would be the hardest one. Yes. So we have to cross those mountains basically. Yeah. Not these small mountains. You're gonna see the hardest part. Because there are a lot of so these uh, small mountains are basically the sign of that road. Okay. So we are here. We stopped recording for a while and now we are in you know on the main route. Yes. The most difficult part. And single road and on one side you can see that we are on top of the mountain. It's and very dangerous. Yes, on the road. other side and there is like a dig you call it or I don't know but it's very scary. And uh, let me add one more thing that if two vehicles are traveling at the same time, one is coming from the front and we are coming from here, so they don't have uh, like any uh, passes that they could cross it. So it's very hard. So I remember uh, the one story that we talked to the, the driver, so they had an emergency in the night, so they had to travel to the city, and city is like, I would say, four to five hours from there. Uh, it was night time, and it was raining. In the rain, the passage or the road gets wet, and it's very hard to travel. So there were uh, like uh, four to five five more people we, and they were traveling with the patient so suddenly the vehicle slipped and tilted it was very difficult for the driver to save all the passengers because they were all his responsibility he jumped out of the vehicle and tried to hold it with the rocks because it was very dark night and and but somehow he tried to manage it and uh, he called out all the people that they were traveling to help him and finally they recovered but the driver and the people they were helping they got injured too they hardly managed it to the city there are a lot of more incidents like this And this road, I think it takes around two hours, right? Yeah, even sometimes two and a half hours because uh, it's very difficult. Mm. The drivers don't want to rush because it can risk the whole, the people's life. So I remember when I was traveling on this route for the first time, I actually, you know, stepped down from the vehicle and I started walking. I said, I prefer this way. And look at the mountains. We have to cross those series of mountains. Yes. To reach Mustafa's village, it's hidden pretty well. On the top of the mountain, they have cut down the mountains and make passage through it. And there's not one or two mountains, there are like a lot of them. I mean, this is really disconnected from any town, uh, especially in cases of emergency, you know, uh, there are no hospitals obviously there, so... Yes, none actually. That's, that's a huge problem. So, there's no hospitals even nearby. If they cross the mountains, there are no hospitals. They have to travel like four to five hours to get to the hospital. With those mountains, it looked really beautiful. Yes, and there are a lot of mountains. Yeah. 
and when it rains the mountains get green it it looks so amazing like there was no rain very rocky but very the stand mountains are quite rocky and for for a second it feels like you know you're on mars you know if you <laughs> look at like that <laughs> see they're very dry and uh, I would say when you are walking on this path I mean it's the most beautiful one because uh you can like feel the nature you can feel the mountains and you're like it kind it's kind of hiking and it is so amazing and you would need a lot of breaks obviously you need to yes. stop and you should have food or water. and water obviously yes. uh and company of course then it would be really interesting i think then it would be fun then i guess it would be like amazing yeah, if the weather is okay then it's it's really good yes so even in the vehicle i think it's really interesting ride it's a very different ride yes. this is not something that you see obviously the kind of roads in the cities we have landed on some surface yes the safe path yeah yes so there are no roads yeah this they is just made it out of uh, like you know when vehicles have traveled a lot these paths have become yeah uh, clear and we see some people you know some civilization you know people yes. living in huts so we see sign of life yes finally and okay, greenery green. <laughs> maybe so mustafa the difficult is part is not even over uh, now we are like going on the top of the mountain mm, so there is another mountain that we have to yes. cross like there are two more and then we will be like on surface So one thing I wanted to add there are people in the village they don't have access to city or they don't have the money to go city and buy some thing from the, uh, for themselves or for their children so they prefer to give money to the driver and ask them to buy that thing for them from the town yeah yes so they buy it and they give it to them when they are coming back time for prayers yes so the driver is going to the mosque and pray and then we leave so the mosque is made out of mud that's how they make it in the tribal areas so finally i feel like we have a huge thing <laughs> that mustafa's house is coming i'm so excited yes i think we're close to mustafa's house yes but we have to wait for a while Oh god I really miss those mountains I have climbed it um, Can you see those like the two trees mm -hmm. That's my most fast village mm. <laughs> Is it really exciting yes. I mean not the village the house most fast house Look at the surrounding so amazing So yes finally you're almost there we have reached this first village and we have reached this home no not yet not yet okay finally we have reached it's official finally we are going to see what's in mustafa's village and his house yes let's go <laughs> Can you let's see go what they have put in the food yes okay mustafa is here finally so that's mustafa's son 
He's talking with Ali because they are friends. So Mustafa has a pet and that's a dog. Yes. So when we met Ma Mustafa at that time we didn't record any video. Yes, because we, we were meeting him after a long time it would be rude that we are recording yes, it. Yes, we are recording so, you know. Finally Ali is chilling in Ma Mustafa's house. Yeah, so you will you will see more of Mustafa, that's for sure. Yes, yeah. I would say. So if you have any recommendation comment that down below. It's amazing what they have created in the middle of nowhere basically, yes you know yes i would say yes the dinner is here This is our place there uh, where we are going to sleep and we have a lot of more much more interesting content coming soon with Mom Mustafa Thank you for taking this journey with us and we'll share more Goodbye Allah Hafiz